Cinderella will always remember the last thing her mother said to her. Be good to others and always try your best. It had been three years since her mom had passed away from the X90 virus. Her dad got married to another woman who had two daughters, Carrie and Lucy. A few months later, Cinderella's dad got sick with the X90 virus, and he was hospitalized. Since her dad couldn't come home, Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters ordered her to make YouTube videos and take care of all their social media. When she had time, Cinderella also did research about the virus. Virusella, I don't like the music that you put on this video. Our YouTube channel is really important to our follower. Make the video again. Change the music and use a softer filter. Cinderella spent the whole night making the videos for her stepsisters. After, she looked at Listus's blog. He was a very famous researcher that was really close to finding a cure to the X90 virus that her dad had. Maybe one day, my work can help him. Sighed Cinderella while leaving him a comment on his blog. Cinderella, we are coming to help you. Dorian, Robotty, all for neighbors help. Cindy, we we get help. You're always here when I need you. Finally, I was brave enough to write Listus. Now, I just need to finish the algorithm. Wake up, Cinderella. An invitation for the dance has arrived and your stepsisters are in charge of talking about the guests' clothes. Listus is going to go. Am I going to have to make those videos? And also meet Listus? Exactly. There are 20 videos of the spring collection for YouTube and you'll have to find something to wear. You can't go in those rags. Don't worry, Cinderella. John and I will help you finish the videos and make a marvelous dress. With the new 3D printer, we will have it ready in a jiffy. Cinderella saw that she had a lot of messages on her computer. Your work is so interesting. You're almost finished. Keep it up. He read my comment on the blog. Why are you so happy? Tomorrow, I will have your videos and my dress. I'm going to the party, said Cinderella smiling with Carrie left mad. The morning of the dance. Cinderella, you didn't know that we wanted those videos in Russian? You can't go to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly the smartphone turned on and someone spoke. said Siri, casting a cyber spell. Break the dress! Break the latest in Russian! Big Bobby! A big drone you will be! Glory! Remember that the dress microchip is programmed until midnight! Afterwards, the dress will lose its shape and Johnny will no longer be big! The stepsisters were dancing with Listus, but he didn't want to dance with them. Listus, don't go too far! We want to take some pictures and a video with you! Suddenly, Cinderella's dress lit up with the party spotlights and you could see the printed code from her work. This just came up to Cinderella. Your dress is very original. The design is incredible. Is it printed in 3D? Yes, it is my printed work. It is really interesting. Let's talk about it. Right then, the alarm rang on the smartphone. I have to go! It's midnight! Listus ran and managed to pick up part of her dress that had fallen. It is the last part of the algorithm! I need to know who that girl is! Everyone up! Listus posted that he is looking for the mysterious girl from the party. She had the really important code. Maybe that was what was missing from the code in the dress. Yesterday, a piece of it ripped. I will send it to him, thought Cinderella. The blog's algorithm is the same as Virus X90's. Listus called Cinderella and he knew it was her. Together, they finished the algorithm. They found a cure for her dad and finally he could come home. Thanks to her hard work, Cinderella got a job in a lab with Listus and she had everything she had ever dreamed of. Now it's your turn. Try your best and you will achieve everything you set your mind to. Snow White lived in New York. 
She was a secretary for her stepmom's style magazine. However, her true passion was something different. Snow White wanted to be a cook and make people feel good. Her stepmother was the director of the magazine and was jealous of her intelligence. Mirror, mirror, who is the smartest writer of them all? You search for smartest writer of them all. The answer is Snow White. Liar! How dare you! It was Monday and Snow White got up to go to work. Something inside her said, follow your dreams. She said goodbye to her stepmother, packed her suitcase, and bought the first flight she found to Spain. On Cook Advisor, a social media site dedicated to cooking, she had read that Spain was a country rich in food and cooking. Her stepmom was really angry. Snow White had accidentally taken her recipe book without realizing that her mother hid all of her evil intentions inside it. She had to find it. Snow White finally made it to the famous Seven Chefs restaurant. It was located in a small town in Spain. There wasn't anyone there, so she went into the kitchen. Everything was a mess and the dishes still weren't ready. Then she started to mix some ingredients. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of curry, what are you doing in our kitchen? said a voice, surprising Snow White. Snow White turned around and saw seven little guys with giant chef hats all staring at her. I am Snow White, and I want to learn how to cook. You should be careful before going into our kitchen, said one of them while trying a little bit of cake. This is delicious! Everyone started to try Snow White's dishes while they gossiped. We all want you to help us. Achoo! Explained another one. You'll begin as the chef's helper, exclaimed Grumpy. Snow White was really happy. She was learning to make different dishes and many people were trying them. Snow White always helped with her generosity, humility, and goodness. Be careful with the spices. They all add strong flavors. <laughs> Dopey didn't talk and Bashful always got red because he was always embarrassed. Achoo! I think I got that cold from last week again. Sleepy was always tired and he could even fall asleep in the kitchen. And lastly, Happy was the one that helped the most. While Snow White was happy because of her kindness, her stepmother was unhappy due to her vanity and jealousy. She always asked the mirror who was the best writer of them all, and she always got angry when the mirror said Snow White. She searched for Snow White with an investigator, but she didn't have any luck. Suddenly, she received an email. She had finally found Snow White. She could get her book back. She caught the first flight to Spain. Her future with the magazine was in great danger. She dressed up like a chef in the Pinchelin Guide and took with her a secret apple pie. Snow White was alone in the restaurant. Are you the famous Snow White? Asked her stepmother. I'm Ava Criticale from the Pinchelin Guide. Snow White did not recognize her stepmother all dressed up and she asked her to come in. Try my delicious apple pie, offered the stepmother. Snow White ate a small piece of the apple pie and suddenly she started to feel sick and she fainted. Her stepmother was searching the chef's whole house and leaving everything a mess. Suddenly, someone opened the door. It was the seven chefs. The first thing they saw was Snow White on the floor. Snow White! They all shouted without waking her up. Suddenly, Sleepy found a paper on the floor. It said, Nobody will be able to wake up Snow White and my secret will never be revealed. Only the best dish of them all will be able to save her. Then, Doc had a great idea. Doc called Anthony Fryer, the best chef in the world. Only his dishes would be able to save Snow White. Fryer had heard many things about Snow White's dishes and he was really wanting to meet her. He made his famous apple mousse. He got on his way from his town in his fancy car. Chef Fryer took out his apple mousse. Its smell filled the room. Little by little, Snow White started to wake up. 
she couldn't believe what she saw. It was Anthony Fryer, her idol. From that day on, Anthony Fryer helped the seven chefs in their restaurant that soon became the best in the world. All of the stepmother's secrets were revealed and because of them, she went to jail. If you have a dream, you should never stop chasing it, regardless of the obstacles. If you are a good person and you don't get taken away by jealousy and selfishness, you will definitely achieve your dreams. Have you enjoyed the story of Snow White? We have many more! Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the seal. And if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the squares!